Hey, what's up, you guys? Just kidding. If you guys watch Julian Solomita, he, like, imitates this guy. I don't know who he imitates, but... <laughs> I tried to do that, but I didn't do it well. Anyways, welcome back to another video. This is just kind of like a... I really wanted to just kind of get in front of the camera and play with some makeup. Um, I used the Gemini palette by Melt. And, yeah, it's... Excuse me, sir. Um, filming... I just filmed this look that I created. Um, I used some new products like the palette, the highlight, you know. It's just kind of like a get ready, first impressions type of deal. Um, nothing really special here. I just really wanted to play with that Gemini palette. And yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this look that I have going on right now, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to be using is the Melt Gemini palette. Ooh, I'm so freaking excited. For this palette it is so beautiful it came out like a couple months ago i don't i don't really exactly remember when it came out but i know i have been sleeping on it i got it when they did that little restock and i'm just so happy i haven't really played with it i used some of the shades like the green shades but just a little bit because i tried to do a look with some pink colors and it didn't really work out so i'm actually gonna put this oops so i'm actually gonna wear this palette today and actually try it out so i'm very excited for this um, I don't know if they're going to be restocking this palette. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, so if you didn't get your hands on it, I am sorry. But if... I'm going to start off with that shade Mochi right here. It's like a really nice mustard shade. And I'm going to be using my MAC 224. Alright, nothing really came out. You know what, I'm just going to dig into this palette. I'm like, whatever, it'll blend out. That's what I like about Melt Shadows is that they're super pigmented, so like, they blend really easily and so nice. And that is Mochi. That's really nice. There's this hand motion I'm trying to learn when you're blending it. It's a little trick I'm learning at Sephora that I learned from Sephora. It is like when you blend it out and you actually like move, like move your actual hands with it. It gets the job done easier. It's just so hard to kind of like get used to that motion. You know, usually we're so used to like, you know, moving our, um, our hands a little bit. But actually like moving your, your wrists. It's so hard to, so hard to get used to. You know, I can't do it. <laughs> so that's what I've been practicing. So sorry if I look weird when I'm like blending out my eyeshadow. Alright, well that is Mochi. It is really nice. I love this mustard shade. I kind of want to use some of that Laurel... I don't know what that shade is called. I think it's called Laurely. Lorelei. Like one of those. But I'm going to be dipping into that shade right there. It's kind of like... Like a burnt orange shade. And I'm going to be using that with my Morphe M441 brush. That way I don't take it up too high. I'm kind of just going to blend that in with the Mochi shade. I'm going to dip into Fire OG, that nice green shade, and I'm going to be using the same um, Morphe M441 brush. So I'm just going to bring that down here. Oh, this is so pretty already. Oh my god. Back to my 224. Just blending that out. That is really nice. I don't think there's like a, a brand out there unless you guys know just let me know but those shades right there are so unique like you cannot find a true green like that in a lot of palettes so I'm very very happy for this palette so yeah I'm just packing and blending I notice anytime I use eyeshadows by Milk Cosmetics I just cannot get them to freaking blend out. Like, I don't know if you guys see what's going on right here in this little section, but I'm like trying to hardcore blend that, but it's not doing anything. Let me see if I can maybe pack some more. Whew, it's getting really hot. 
right, so after like so much packing and blending, this is the best I could get. I really do like it. It's just, I don't know. I really do like it. It's just the way it's blend, like the way I had to blend it right here. Like I don't like, I don't really like the way that looks, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't really look well blended. In my opinion, um, I'm telling you, it's just the pigmentation of these, um, of these, of these eyeshadows. I cannot speak. But yeah, for some reason, like their eyeshadows are like super, like some other quality. So you just gotta, I think it's just the way I blend these shadows. I'm not doing it right or it's not just, I don't know. But I really got to get more practice with their eyeshadows. I still love them. Like, I love their colors. They're super pretty. I love the way this looks. Um, but it's just, I cannot get it to blend, like, really diffuse. So, could be just my fault. But I think it looks pretty. So, I'm going to move on. Anyway, so I'm going to dip into that shade right here. It's called Gold. It's that nice shimmer green. It is such a pretty green. Before I dip into that shade, I'm going to be using my Morphe M421 brush. <laughs> I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus, just kind of so you can get nice and damp. I'm going to put that all over my eyelids. Oh my god, that is so pretty. Okay, now that, I am so obsessed with this green. That is so freaking pretty. Like, do you guys see that? I am obsessed. Very, very obsessed. <laughs> so I'm going to get it damp again. But I'm seriously obsessed with this color. Like, it is so freaking pretty. Um, okay, so now I'm going to deepen up the crease just a little bit. And I'm going to be using the shade Leo. It is just like a nice, dark, military green shade. It is so freaking pretty. I'm going to just um, darken up the crease with that. Hopefully that will save like the way this looks right here. Like the... Alright, so that is all I'm going to do for this shadow look. I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter um, later when I put the rest of my complexion on. I really do like the way this looks. Like, I love the shades, the green, the darkness. I mean, the darkness. The dark green shades. It's so freaking pretty. That metallic shade is nice. Those, mustard, those mustard shades are nice. It's just, I had trouble blending it. I think it's just probably me. I don't know, but I am not really so happy with the way that kind of came out. Now that I cleaned up my eyeshadow, it doesn't really look like, it doesn't really look that bad like I thought it, like I thought it was bad. Um, yeah, I really like the way this looks. It's a good eyeshadow palette. These greens are so freaking beautiful. So now I'm going to put on some wing eyeliner. I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Whew, it is getting so freaking hot. Like every time I try to do a wing eyeliner on camera, it does not come out right. So I will be right back. I'm gonna fix this freaking wing. And give me one second. We're gonna move on to our complexion. I wet my beauty blender. Um, so for my primer, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It is a moisturizer and a primer in one. And it's so nice. And it has hyaluronic acid, so it keeps the moisture in your skin underneath all the makeup you have, which is amazing. Also has like this ingredient called niacinamide, something like that. And that's what really plumps the skin. It helps minimize the look of pores. This freaking primer is amazing. Yeah, I really like to massage this primer into my skin, get it nice and plump. And it sets really quick too, so whatever you put on top of it is gonna stick. Primer art by itself kind of had my skin looking glowy already, but I want to be extra because, like I said, I have dry skin, so I really don't want that dry skin to show at all. So I'm using this, e oh my God, I forgot the name of it. It's Eborian. That sh it's a Korean skincare brand. They're really nice. Um, it's their glow cream. It's just like an illum. It's yeah, it's an illuminating face cream. I really love this illuminator. It looks so nice. 
and it just gives it like a really nice natural glow to the skin. Alright, so for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is my favorite freaking foundation, especially if you have dry skin. If you're oily too, you can wear this because it's oil free. But this foundation, oh my god, it's my favorite. And they're bringing out a new shade range too. If you guys haven't heard, um, Jackie Aina, she collaborated with Too Faced and she made a deeper... She made the shade range of the Born This Way expand and she helped them get the deeper tones in there. So I thought that was very amazing. And I cannot wait for those shades to come out. I'm in the shade Light Beige, but I got a little bit dark since it's been hot outside. So it might be a little too light for me right now, but it's the only thing I have right now. So I'm going to have to deal with it. And yes, these are weird earrings. So I cut my sideburns the other day. So that's why it looks funny right there. I don't know how I felt about that. I've never cut my sideburns before, but I see like girls do it and then their skin just looks cleaner and it makes for better um, makeup application. So I gave it a try, but I feel like so different without it. If you have sideburns, like you know how I feel. Like it's just a part of you and it's like when I saw it, when I shaved it off, I was like, oh my god. I felt like my face looked whiter. But I really do like it. You can see my contour even more. And it looks cleaner too. I know I'm putting a lot of foundation on, but I like heavy coverage. So, yeah. And that's what I like about this foundation too. Like, if you want to have some natural days and like slap some foundation on really quick and be out the door, you can do that with this foundation or you can build it up to that nice full beat coverage that you want. And someone is calling me. When you think someone important is calling you, but it's just scam likely. One, let me bring that down a little more. Sometimes I still make that mistake of forgetting to bring it down to my neck. And I'm at work like, ah. Now I'm going to put some concealer. I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer. I'm in the shade Cafe Con Leche. So I'm just going to let this concealer sit there for like 30 seconds. Um, I learned that from Jackie Aina. She's the one that said, like, if you just let it sit there for, like, 30 seconds to a minute and you blend it out, just something about it. It's kind of like baking in a way. It kind of, like, just sets and it looks really nice when you blend it out. So that's what I am doing now. Just getting my shit together around here. And I think that was the first time I cussed in this video. I've been trying to seriously get better at my cursing, cussing, whatever you guys call it. I know I did it a lot in my other video and everybody was like, oh, girl, you should not be, like, cussing my dog, girl. Like... I know, I have a problem on how I talk like that, and I've been trying to get better at it, so I think I've been doing good so far. I don't know. I will see when I look back at the videos. Using my same beauty blender. Okay, so for my contour, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Mocha. I freaking love these matchsticks. Honestly, guys, I've never, like, I haven't touched my bronzer or any of my powders in a very long time because of this. Because it just blends out to a powder finish, which is what I love. Like, I used to not touch cream contours at all because, I don't know, a lot of cream contours are, like, super muddy and just, they look so weird. And I just did not like to use them. But these change the game because they're super creamy. They glide right on. And they're so easy to blend, too. And honestly, I have had this since the freaking launch of Fenty Beauty, which was September 8th, I believe. Yeah, September 8th. I have freaking had this contour stick since then, and I use it pretty much every single day. And I, like, have a good amount left. Like, these are freaking amazing. <laughs> and what I like to do when I blend out my contour is spray my beauty blender with a little bit of Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist. I just like to do this because it makes it look, when you blend it out, it just looks nice and radiant and dewy. I'm just gonna kind of on there. Just pat, 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 and boom. Right again to blend the other side. Let me make sure I'm still recording. I get so freaking paranoid on like if I'm not recording 
because on this monitor it doesn't tell me what my camera is doing for some stupid reason um, but it's just because I got a cheap monitor it was like 50 bucks so I can't really ex like expect much from it but yeah I get paranoid that I'm not filming sometimes because it's happened a lot of times where I'm like making videos thinking that I'm filming but I'm not <laughs> and then I'm gonna contour my nose just a little bit I'm using the Morphe M432 brush to do this I love this brush to contour my nose with I'm still trying to get used to like nose contouring. It is so freaking like tricky to do. Especially with my nose shape at least. I have a weird nose shape. What I like to do as well is just go boom. Boom. The freaking power of contouring, like I swear by this shit. <laughs> freaking I'm just gonna blend it out now with my beauty blender like why pay thousands of dollars for surgery when you can just contour you save a lot of money that's just my opinion though I don't really believe in that stuff but if you want to do it you do you boo I don't judge anybody either sometimes the beauty blender really doesn't like blend it out that good because of how big it is so I'm just gonna be taking my morphe concealer brush it's the brush E8, and I'm really just going to give that another blend. So I'm just blending out all the creasing that has happened since I have been doing the rest of my face. Now I'm going to be setting my face just a little bit with some powder. I am using the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. I love this setting powder. A lot of people always come in with dry skin. When I say come in, I'm in like, come on, okay. I, if you guys don't, haven't known, um, I work at Sephora. That's all I'm going to get further into it. I don't really like to bring my work life into my personal videos, if that makes sense. But that's what I meant by coming in. But I get clients coming into the store saying, you know, they have dry skin and they can't use any translucent powders. Because it just makes them super dry. But this powder is a really nice alternative for that. Um, it's like a super nice light translucent powder and it also helps bring some luminosity to the skin and it's not so drying like other translucent powders because I have dry skin too like I said y'all and this shit this powder is so good I'm just gonna be setting my under eyes with that heard they're gonna come out with three different shades of this translucent powder um I'm very excited for that I want to see how those are gonna look but for now I just have the regular one there's only one shade of it so I'm just setting that where I put like any complexion products. I'm not going to put that on top of my my contour in that little section right here. I'm going to put highlight just because I don't want to take away all, like I don't want to powder my whole face. So yeah, I'm just powdering wherever I get oily. But you see, I just love this freaking powder. Like it doesn't look cakey or powdery on my dry ass skin. <laughs> Excuse me y'all, I'm trying. Just seeing on my concealer like this little shit right here. I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, so now that that's fixed. So before I move on to my blush and my highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyeshadow and I'm gonna pop some lashes on. Alright, so taking the same Morphe M506 brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Mochi. It is very hot in my room, so I'm going to be blotting as I am getting sweaty because I do not want my makeup to break up. Whew, I need some ventilation up in here. It is hot. I need to open the window a little bit. I just don't, I don't like to open this window because I live in Los Angeles, so you, if I open that window, you're just going to hear everything that is going on outside. So I'm just going to have to, and if I turn on my AC, you're going to barely be able to hear me. Y'all know what I mean, so. I am taking the same Morphe M506 little tiny brush, so I'm going to go into Fire OG. And that's not the brush I just had. M506. Alright, I'm taking goals. I'm just going to bring that in just a little bit underneath. My inner corner, I'm going to be using the Melt Highlighter. It's in the shade Stargazer. I'm not going to open it because it's freaking broken my pore highlighter. Well, it's not broken, but it's just kind of like cracked 
and it's like out of place um so i'm not gonna like you know obviously do like that um it's still a good highlighter it still has its pigmentation so that's why i still use it and i'm just gonna pop that on my inner corners spritz my touch of luminous dewy skin mist Alright, so to tight line, I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath eyeliner. It's the Permagel eyeliner. I really love this eyeliner. It's like super black. And it's so good. Me. Alright, so yeah, I'm just going to tight line. I don't put any, I don't like to put eyeliner in my bottom, my waterline because I have very small eyes. So if I do that, it's just going to shrink my eyes which i do not want because i'm already going to go in with some nice lashes okay, and the mascara i'm using before i put on my falsies is the milk kush mascara like we're all about fucking kush today y'all i mean shit, i'm just kidding i mean a lot of you guys know that i smoke it's a part of me it's something that i like to do it's it truly relaxes my mind. Um, sometimes I deal with like anxiety and smoking really does help me with that. It helps me calm down. I was going to use um, my friend's eyelashes that he gave to me. It's Lashes by Alfred. Um, I believe these are in the style Lana. I put on my Instagram the ones that he named after me, the Chachi Lashes. Those are the ones that I had in my Berry my pink berry makeup tutorial. Um, I really love those lashes. These lashes are really nice and they're silk lashes and you guys can see like how dramatic they are and I love them. I'm gonna bring these babies in another video just I'm not gonna wear them today because if I do it's really gonna cancel out all of the eyeshadow I just did. Um, so yeah I'm not gonna do that. They're gonna steal the freaking spotlight if I put those on. So I'm just gonna go in with my regular Camille lashes by Huda Beauty. I really like these for my eye shape because I have, like I said, like I mentioned earlier, I have tiny eyes so I can't really wear anything so dramatic on me without it looking weird. So that's why I like these Huda Beauty Camille lashes because they're already short so they fit perfectly on my eyes and they give, a, they give my eyes like a flare. Pop these suckers on. And this is the lash applicator that Alfred gave to me. I think you can find these on his Etsy store too. I really like to apply my lashes with an applicator because you just get more precise. And I don't like to use my nails. People use their nails, but I, I just get so paranoid because there's so much bacteria and germs underneath your nails and getting that stuff near my eyes. No, so I like to use a lash applicator. Um, you can find this on his Etsy store, I believe. I do not know. I will definitely let you guys know. I freaking love these eyelashes. They're my favorite. So for some blush, I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals blush in the shade Call My Blush. I freaking love these blushes. They're one of my favorites. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques blush brush. Well, it's technically... Yeah, it's a blush brush. I was right. I think I kind of want to bake a little bit. Just kind of like in this little section because I'm getting sweaty. <laughs> I don't like to overly bake either. And I'm going to dust that away. So for my highlighter, it's going to be a new one that I'm trying out. It is by Wet n Wild. Um, I don't know if you guys have played with these highlighters. I was at CVS earlier and I seen these and they were $5. So I was very intrigued because honestly guys, I have never messed with a um, drugstore highlighter. I've never used one before. I don't know how it's going to be. I've only used like, you know, my favorite one hands down. Like my ride or die highlighter is my makeup forever. And y'all know that I love that freaking highlighter. So I really don't know how this is going to go, but I really want to try a drugstore highlighter just for the fun of it. So I'm going to try that today. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. They had three shades. Um, this was the Golden Flower Crown. I think it said that this shade was a new one. The other two they didn't have that new sticker on it. So I think they kind of just extended the shade ranges of these highlighters. And yeah, this is in the shade Golden Flower Crown. Anytime I use a highlighter, 
I like to spray my brush with the Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist. Guys, I freaking love this spray. If you want to make anything look dewy, just spray it with this with this stuff. I almost said shit. I didn't say it. But spray it with this, and it's so freaking good. It makes everything look nice and dewy and just fresh and radiant. I usually spray that with my brush um, to put my highlighter. I'm not going to do that just because I want to see how the highlighter is by itself. If I feel like it needs the spray, I'm going to add the spray. So, But I'm just going to dip into it by itself. I'm using the Morphe M510 brush. It is clean. So yeah, I'm just going to dip into that. I like the packaging. That's so cute. It has like a little flower on it. <laughs> Honestly, that is not bad for a $5 highlight comparing to my Makeup Forever that is $24. But I think I'm going to... Or it's buildable, actually. Okay, I'm going to add some Tatcha Luminous um, Skin Mist to it. Let's see how that looks like that. And I need to hurry up because my camera is dying. Ah, oh, there's the intensity. I love... Yeah, that's a really nice highlight. I am not mad at it. <laughs> I've seen drugstore highlighters. I've seen girls wear it, and it just makes me like, oh, I, don't, I, like, I was very skeptical about this, and I just did not want to look like I have chalk on my face. <laughs> but this highlight is not doing that, and I'm actually really liking it. If, uh, this is a really good cheap highlighter. It was $5, and it was at CVS too. I know CVS like overprices things, so I think it's like even cheaper at like Target or something. But yeah, I'm not mad at that highlighter. It's really nice. Nice highlighter. It's blinding, that's for sure. Especially with the help of the, the spray. I like it. Alright, so I'm going to pop on this new lipstick that I got by Milk Cosmetics. It's in the shade 710, which is I thought it was so freaking funny. And this is why I love Milk. Like, I, they're my favorite, one of my favorite brands. Um, but yeah, it's in the shade 710. And if you guys don't know what that means, it's kind of like 420. You know, when you hear 420, it's like, oh, it's time to smoke some weed. Uh, well, 710 backwards is pronounced oil, so, you know what I mean? Ooh, that is so freaking pretty. I love this lipstick. It's like seriously the perfect mustard lipstick. And I already know I'm going to wear this a lot in the fall time. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love it. Pick up with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Ah, oh, feels so good. This is the finishing look of all the products that I used today. I seriously loved everything. Even though I had a little bit of trouble with my blending with the Gemini palette, just with those green shades, it's still, I really love the way this eyeshadow looks. It is so freaking bomb. It looks really nice. It looks nice and smoky. It's a nice green eyeshadow palette. Like, it's truly, I want to say, I give it a 10 out of 10, honestly. It's a really nice freaking palette, and it has those nice warm tones, too, so... I already know this is what I'm going to be grabbing for a lot in the freaking fall. So I am obsessed with this. Um, this freaking highlighter, like, seriously amazed me. It is. It was only $5. Like, I was so freaking sketched out for this, <laughs> from this highlight. I know it sounds fucking weird, but I, honestly, I never used a drugstore highlight. And this is a really good highlight for $5. Like, I, I look nice. It's a good highlighter. So I give this a 10 out of 10 as well. And yeah, this lipstick is nice. This 710 lipstick, it's really good. I like the way it looks. It's very pretty and mustardy. It goes with my top that I have underneath this shirt. And yeah, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got these earrings from Earth Brown. Every time I wear it, people ask where I got it from. So they're from Earth Brown. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had fun um, watching me create this video. Sorry if I was like a little weird in the beginning. I still need to get used to, you know, talking to the camera and really focusing and looking directly at you guys. Um, it's definitely a work in progress. I really truly appreciate you guys that support me and watch my videos. I know I only bring them out once in a blue moon, but I'm trying. I really am trying. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys soon in my next video.